Welcome to this session. In this session, we will work with our uh, vocabulary. In this case, we will do little sessions to verify the information and your answers from your student book, which is 9C, entitled The Day Out. So let's see. In this case, what we need to do is match first the names of the animals with the letters. For example, we have one is a lion. So lion would be I. I will write them here. That would be one lion. Number two, a chicken. This would be two, the chicken. Three, a tiger. Here's a tiger, letter J. That's three. Number four, a cow. So we have number four, a cow. We have number five, a monkey. So we have monkey number five. We have six, a sheep. Here's a sheep, letter H. Seven, a wolf. It's letter A, the wolf. Number eight, a rabbit. So we'll see here, rabbit, number eight. Number nine, a mouse. Here's number nine, letter B, the mouse. Okay, next one, number 10, a snake. That's letter L, 10 is letter L, okay. Next one would be 11, a bird, the letter D is the bird, 11, and 12, a gorilla, letter C, gorilla is number 12. Now, from this section, they told us to do the following. Put the animals in these particular groups, wild animals. So what I'm going to do here is go over here to the text. And look here, wild animals. From this vocabulary, I'm going to write wild animals. And I'm going to put here, for example, wild animals, wolf. Wild animals, monkey. Wild animal, lion, the tiger, a snake, okay, farm animals, this is the next one, which is farm animals. Let's imagine here we have sheep, we have chicken, we have the cow, it's a farm animal, okay, what else, I think those are the three basic animals, maybe a mouse, Also a mouse could be maybe a rabbit. Okay. How about pets? Pets, we have the basic. We can have a rabbit as a pet. We can have a rabbit as a pet. We can have from this one maybe a mouse as a pet, maybe a bird as a pet. But the most common pets, they are not here. Let's put them. That would be a dog and a cat, maybe a fish. Okay. 
So in this case, what we need to put, here we have five, tiger, rabbit, mouse, monkey, the gorilla goes here. We need to put animals, extra animals. What other farm animals do you know? Chicken, sheep, cow, see a duck, a goose, for example, okay? We just needed to put some extra vocabulary, whatever things that you can have. For example, some people can also say that a rabbit is a form animal, that's fine. You can just classify them however you want and add vocabulary in this chart. Okay, moving on to the next slide. It says, read about the two places in the UK where people go for a day out. Which place is more interesting to go and why? So let's read. I'm going to put this big. And then we have Longleat. Longleat is a fantastic day out for all the family. You can drive around the safari park and see hundreds of animals in the wild. There are monkeys, wolves, lions, and tigers in the park. So don't forget to close your car windows. You can also go on a guided tour of Longleat House, built in the 16th century, or just have lunch in the beautiful gardens. And then in the afternoon, you can go on an exciting safari boat trip. Look out for the gorilla that lives on an island in the middle of the lake. Longleat is open every day from February to November. You can buy tickets online at www.longleat.co.uk. All right? So this is Longleat. Now let's check the next text. Here we have Regent's Park. It says, what's in Regent's Park? Here we have London Zoo. This world's famous zoo first opened in 1828, and it's now home of, uh, to 12,000 animals. You can see tigers, camels, snakes, colorful birds, and lots more. And don't forget to visit the exciting rainforest area. For more information, go to www zsl.org here we have the open air theater the theater is open from may to september of the place one of the plays this season is shakespeare's a midsummer night dream you can buy uh, you can book, book tickets at www.openairtheater.org here we have events in the park there are sometimes free concerts in the afternoons and guided bird walks of the weekend. See www.royalparks.gov.uk for more details of what, what's on this week. Food and drink. There are six excellent cafes and restaurants in Regent's Park. The Boathouse Cafe is a popular place for lunch. And the Garden Cafe is a great place for a meal before going to the open-air theater. Finally, we have boat hire. You can hire boats on the lake from March to October from the Boathouse Cafe. Okay, so moving on. Here we have this one. Which, where do people in the UK go out? Which place is more interesting to you and why? For me... I'm going to take it, I'm going to select Regent's Park for me, because it has more diverse activities, has more variety. Okay, here let's answer the questions. It says, how do you travel around Safari Park? We say by car. Which animals can you see there? Here we have lions, tigers, gorilla,
wolves APC Can you visit Longley House? Yes, you can. So the answer is yes. You can. Yes, you can. Where does the gorilla live? That would be in the middle of the island of in the lake in the middle of the island in the lake Okay, let's go to Regent's Park. When did London Zoo first open? We say answer in 1828. Okay. In 1828. Is the theater open in October? Okay, the theater is open May to September, so October, September, October, no it isn't. No, it isn't. How many places to eat are there in the park? There's Regent's Cafe, the Boathouse Cafe. In the garden cafe, there's three. There are three cafes. Or let's say there are three places. There are three places. Where can you hire boats from? Where can you hire boats from? In the lake. Answer would be in the lake. Okay. 